Ken McNeil with Design Originals and today I want to share some of my sketchbook pages with you. And what I want to share is basically my very favorite page in any sketchbook I do and then a few other pages that are my favorites. So here's a sketchbook that I did from Mexico. So the very first page we went to Oaxaca so I have my pockets for my uh, memorabilia. We went for Day of the Dead, so the little skeleton. And here is my very favorite page in my sketchbook. You know, what happens is I'll be gone for a cut two or three weeks, and I get back and I go, I know I was busy every single day, but, but what did I do every day? It just turns into a continuous trip. But if I keep these calendar pages, then I know what I did every day. And then I just had to show you this. These darling little boys, they saw me sketching, and so they wanted to sketch too. So I, I let them sketch on some extra pieces of paper, and this is their artwork. So let me show you another calendar page. Here's another calendar page. Now this one, you saw the ran, columns ran all the way down, but this one I didn't have quite as much room, so I put two tiers of columns. And then sometimes I'll, I'll put a, a event page across from that. And here's another calendar page. And this one you can see I use wavy lines. So I try to do a little bit different things in my calendar pages. And then one year, I kept a continuous sketchbook. I did something every single day during the year. So this was my first page. You can see this is a week, seven boxes. Another week, seven boxes. Another week, seven boxes. That's my husband asleep in the evenings while I'm uh, drawing and watching TV. And then these were some leaves that I collected this leaf is a real leaf that I glued down, but this is a drawing, so it's sort of a fool the eye thing. And here was what I did for Christmas. Again, seven days, seven sections. So then let me show you another one. Now this was just fun. <laughs> These people were just sitting out on the veranda watching the boats go by. And here are re real seashells and feathers that I collected in my book. And this was a pier that has an amusement park on it. And last thing I'm going to show you is this is the Columbia Gorge, which I drove up and down. So I, I glued a map in here. And then I sketched out different places where I stopped. And, of course, some of the fish from the... Uh, fish place, fish hatchery. So now let me show you how I make sketchbooking easy and fast. You know, I like to record everything, so my goal is to work as fast as possible. And so, uh, you know, all I need, everything I need for a trip is right here. I could add a few things like a glue stick or something, but really everything I need is right here, a sketchbook, a little holder for water, a few different sizes of paint brushes, my micron pens, a pencil, and a good vibrant set of watercolors. This happens to be a Yarka brand. So uh, I've already wet each of these wells so that my paint will uh, be brilliant. And I'm just, this particular design, I'm just going to put some color around the page. Oh, I love that blue. Isn't that just yummy? So, last side of the page. So now that I have my border done, I'm going to need to let that dry before I draw on that page. So I'm just going to go on to another page. Now this one I've already done and let dry. And I sort of like the way that color bled out. It looks creative to me. And here's another page that's done that's all dry. So you can actually go through your sketchbook and, and do a variety of colors as you go through. So I'm going to show you the basics of how I do my calendar. And what I like to do is leave an area up at the top for the weather and just a small area 
for the date and or day, and then I will need seven sections for a week if I want to do a week here. And so that's a little odd number, <laughs> but I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to divide this page into four days. And then Saturday, I'm normally doing more things. So I think I'll just leave Saturday a lot larger. Should have brought this up here. It's easy to edit. So I'm using a Micron black pen, and this is wonderful because it is waterproof. And it does not fade. Some of your markers will fade to brown with age, but not this one. So now I'm just going to switch over to a little bit smaller pen. This is, the first one was a graphic one. This is an O2. And if you uh, look carefully at my calendars, I love to keep what the weather is that day. So I represent that by drawing different suns. Can you imagine what a challenge it is to draw 365 suns during the year? But you can change them but just by changing the edge border or the size of the circle. So let's just say this day it was sunny. Let's just say the next day was cloudy. And so we have a cloud and maybe some raindrops. So it's really fun to keep the sky. And we'd have to write the month here. And maybe it's the first of the month. And then this would be number two, and number three, and so on. So now, now I, in here, I would write the words and maybe do a few illustrations. And that uh, paint should be dry, I mean that pen. So I'm gonna take uh, my brush. And I love watercolors that have a lot of pigment in them, so they're really vibrant. This particular Yarka set also, they have a little bit of honey in them when they're manufactured, so they're real easy to re-wet. So you can see how simple that, ha that was accomplished. And now for the cloud, now the cloud, normally clouds are kind of white, but uh, maybe the sky because it was a really cloudy day, dark and dreary. So some people are real particular and draw everything out in pencil first before they ink the drawing and sketch. But I like to get a lot accomplished in my sketchbooks. And when I travel, I like to do a lot of things. So I often don't have much time to work on my sketchbook. So I have developed the habit of not using a pencil. Instead, I just draw and paint. So I'm gonna let that dry and then I would continue on the sketchbook. So if you want more information on my really speedy sketchbooks, here's uh, one of my books. So it shows all about why to sketch and keep a sketchbook rather than just take a, you can see the photo here. Well, here it is if I, sat down and spent a few minutes drawing it. So different ideas of how to keep a quick sketchbook and creative sketchbook. And here's the section on the calendars, calendar pages. So lots of different ideas and configurations. So I think you would enjoy this book if you want to sketch and keep an art journal at all.